Howdy, Practical Patriots and Practical Preppers. Yahoo, Tay, Gruel, South Texas, Hey, folks, John Practical Nurse here. Well, darn it, the best laid plans of mice and men, okay? <laughs> so today's test uh, is about this, the 10 and a half inch AR pistol. I put this little optic on top, you know, so I could get some uh, range with these eyes of mine. And I had a little camera mishap, but I'm gonna pick it up where I left off, okay, that I can manage the salvage of this. So basically, this was our test today. 10 and a half inch barrel AR using some 62 grain all right, ammunition 556 along with some 55 grain ammunition 556 uh the 55 grain folks moves at 3165 feet per second and the 62 grain ammunition moves at 3020 feet per second okay <laughs> so anyway i tested this ammo at 100 feet and neither one of them punched through and as i've been going along i've been using my sharpie but sadly because of a mishap with the camera and that little critter down there uh kind of messed with me a few times uh <laughs> i kind of lost some of the footage but let's pick it up where it was and then we'll carry on with where i'm headed okay hold on 75 feet is where we're 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 gonna pick this up from so now we're at the 75 foot range, okay? So again, I taped up the uh, plate back over there on the alien over there, and I marked with the Sharpie exactly where each uh, bullet and what grain they were, and plus the 10, I put 10.5 for 10 and a half inch barrel. So this time we're gonna go with the 62 grain first. 62. <laughs> All right, let's try the 62 grain first and see what we get. 75 feet, 10 and a half inch barrel. We have positive impact. Let's go have a look. I'll tell you what, let me drop this mag first because I need to switch out the rounds here. All right. Let's go have a look. Okay. Got my little Fuji Tech stick here from uh, that the Prepper Princess uh, recommended. Let's see what we did here. I don't see any alien blood from this distance. Well, I mean, from a 10 and a half inch barrel, so far this thing's holding up pretty well. All right, hold up. So, okay. Right there, there's your impact, right there. Let's see if I got my Sharpie on me. Well, drat, I must have left it back on the table. Okay, but just remember right there, right there, that's almost like dead center. So now we're gonna try the 55 grain, okay? All right, let's rock, on, rock, rock, on, rock on back over here. It's a beautiful day out here in Central Texas. Let's walk on back here and load up some 55 grain. Where in the world did I put my Sharpie? Said every rock star I ever knew. <laughs> okay, those of us that worked in the music industry, especially during the 80s and when the hair bands were out, we knew what we shied with side with sharpies, don't we, fellas? <laughs> yes, I was in a hair band. If you can't figure that out, <laughs> all right. Let me load up some uh, 55 grain here. Five grain. I'll just put a couple more. I didn't expect that plate to last this long, but of course, the first video I did. I didn't expect that video to be that short. So I'm gonna load up some 55 grain here, three more rounds. I don't know if you can see down there, but Jacques is showing his glory there. He's got his fan out. Yes, we know you're a handsome bird. Okay, let's go have a look at that. That is one brave bird, you know that? <laughs> kind of reminds me of some of my kind of my kind of friends that I had when I was in the military and in college. <laughs> Let's go have a look. What y'all don't know is that during the pause when I was setting this back up, he decided he wanted to tussle with me. So now he's got to show his feathers. And I left the Sharpie back on the table, didn't I? Ah! Darn it. Okay, so, remember? 
The 62 grain was like dead in the center. This was the 55 grain. Okay? Tell you what. As long as you can remember that, we'll keep rocking this. I'll try to remember to grab the, the Sharpie later. But now we're going to, I'm going to pause this. We're going to move up to 50, 50 feet, okay? Hold on. So now we're at the 50 foot mark, and as you can tell by the red rock that's just right in front of me over here, okay, that is the 45 foot mark, which denotes the NIJ standard of 15 yards, okay, from target. At this point, I need to start thinking about some safety here, okay, so, okay, I got my helmet on here, and um, so we're going to rock this 62 grain. Again, 50 feet, and for anyone that was wondering about the 10 and a half inch barrel twist, one seven, okay? One and seven barrel twist on that, okay? All righty. So again, 62 grain, yeah, just in case. Green tip. Let's see if uh, this one we get lucky on, hold on. So far I got a, you know, 10 and a half inch barrel. I got to give that plate its due, all right? And of course, Jacques is in the way again, but hey. Well, I shot the plate off, but I don't see the alien blood, so let's go have a look. So I must have smacked it pretty hard. Drop my round, put the weapon down. Let's go have a look. Let me take this thing off my head here. <laughs> I've been uh, working out here all day today. Oops, tripped over the rock. <laughs> all right, so, uh, excuse me, Jacques. You know, you're either one dumb bird or you're one brave bird. I don't know which. But, uh, of course, there's nothing wrong with the alien here. Uh, hold on, kid. You get a good, close look, look at that. It must have. Uh, and I went ahead and marked it. Okay. Okay. Let me set this up here where y'all can see this. Okay. All right. Sorry. Jacques's kind of getting in my way here. Behind me over here. But this is the impact right here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this. I'm going to pause for a second, mark it, to tape this thing back up, and we'll try the 55 grade. It made a sizable dent in there. All righty. Hold on just a second. All right, so now we're going to try some of this 55 grain from this distance. Make sure this thing's on my melon here. <laughs> All right. All right. Jock, get out of the way. Let's go see what I hit. Take that out. As long as I don't hit the bird, y'all. <laughs> I don't know why he insists on doing that. He just, he does. He doesn't even flinch. All right, let's go have a look. Let me get this thing off my head here. So as you can see, all the way up to this point, and our next test is gonna be at 45 feet, okay? 45 feet, 10 and a half inch barrel, one and seven twist, okay? With 55 grain ammunition, 556, XM193, and 62 grain, 556. Uh, that's the M855, I believe. And uh, you can just see all the park marks. This thing has been taking a pummeling. Now, this was the original hit from a 16 inch barrel with 55 grain 556 ammunition xm193 but with a 10 and a half this is it it has not penetrated so far all righty let's go over there and have a uh let's go ahead and continue this test here okay 45 feet all right moment of truth here okay uh no let's go with a 62 grain here green tip moment of truth here because I ain't shooting it any closer than this. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Did y'all notice that? Ugh. Okay. Actually, it's a good thing I had this one in, though. <laughs> this is actually my deaf ear, so no biggie. That was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But uh, let's go have a look. All right, oh, let's tell you what, let us take that 
bullet out. Because trust me, I'm not shooting it any closer than this. I'd rather not take that risk. I mean, somebody got to pay the bills around here. <laughs> All righty. Let's go see what we got. And of course, I left the Sharpie on the table again. <laughs> All right, here we go. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point, does it? Because we still have no penetration here. All right, but you can y'all see all this ball right here on the table? Can you, or makeshift table, whatever? I mean, that is amazing, okay? That is amazing. It's 45 feet. Now, the last one, of course, we're going to do is the 55 grain ammo. That thing is taking a beating. I'll give it that. All right. So, can't say we're not learning a lot from this test, can we? All righty. Let's shoot for the 55 grain ammo. Again, rock 45 feet. Okay. And of course, you know, you got, I don't know how well you can see them, but the markers over here, and you have markers down over there. But, uh, yep. All right, very popular fire on these uh, AR pistols. All right, let's go with 55 grain. <sighs> <laughs> I gotta admit this is a lot of fun though. Just making sure. <laughs> All right. I definitely hit it. Go have a look. But definitely, that does say a lot, doesn't it? Now, there is still no punch through on this. So the question came down to the 10 and a half inch barrel. Could it defeat this armor using NIJ standards? Okay, the answer is no, it cannot defeat this armor. This armor is level three, and um, it was rated against 30-06 uh, armor piercing per the letter that they sent with it. But uh, the only one that has defeated it so far was the 16-inch barrel, 10 and a half inch barrel using 55 grain ammunition and 62 grain ammunition could not defeat it. And look, we look how many let me, look how many shots that we take at this thing. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm pretty sure there's probably a few more over here that the paint probably got busted off of, but we've taken a few shots of this thing. So, yep, well, there you have it. All right, I think next we should try 545 by 39. What do you all think? Let me know. Questions, comments, leave them below. Until I see you all again, Giant Practical Nurse, out here. <laughs>